Two. Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Buick GMC video sports update. So the Jaguars have been in this mini camp now for three days and the one on Thursday was open to the public. But, you know, what do we really learn about that? Not much. I mean, you learn that the Jaguars are willing, obviously, to add players. And Gus Bradley was very specific about that. He said, look, the players are really competing against themselves. And if they don't get that, then we'll bring people in. I mean, that's like a shot across the bow, but that's ex exactly what you want to hear, that guys need to have a competitive spirit about competing against a standard of excellence that they know exists. Not, I'm better than that guy, or I'm good enough to, to play in this league. It's, I better be better than everybody who's probably out there because they're going to bring somebody in to replace me. And that's the me only mentality that makes players perform at the highest level. I mean, it sounds silly to say, but every great coach will tell you, fear, Jimmy Johnson said it all the time, fear is the thing that motivated everybody on the Cowboys because he constantly told them that they were about to be replaced. Constantly. And that's, you know, part of the deal in the National Football League that motivates players. So they're playing the music at practice. It's upbeat. It's hot. There's lots of things to learn. Uh, it'll be... Um, uh, it'll be a good session where the coaches will see who's emerging as people who uh, look like that they can play. They're going to count on some rookies, particularly in the defensive backfield. One safety position, one cornerback position is going to be guys that they drafted. Uh, Cecil Shorts has had a pretty good offseason here, and he'll be certainly in the mix. Uh, Ace Sanders has impressed them. Denard Robinson is going to be part of what they're doing offensively. Luke Jokel is going to be a starter. Um, you know they they've got some they've got some ideas, you know, but it comes down to one thing, quarterback. I mean, is Gabbard going to be any good? Because we know Chad Henning is not the answer. So if Gabbard is not the answer, they'll know three four games into the season because he's phenomenal in practice. But you know he's wearing a red shirt. If he's not the answer, they'll know three four games into the season and they'll start make preparations to find a quarterback, either a veteran to bring in here or to draft one that they think can be the difference coming up. U.S. Open certainly will be interesting at Marion. It is wet and very wet. Even though it's a shorter golf course, they've grown the rough, real premium on accuracy. It'll be very interesting to see how it plays out for the first time since 1981 when David Graham won there and 1971 when Lee Trevino beat Jack Nicklaus in a playoff there. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the Nimnik GMC Buick Video Sports Update.